Okay, that looks nice. Hey guys, welcome back. It's a new year, a new series, and of course a new episode. And today we are st we, we are starting off with uh, arcs, in this case a simple Roman arc, and uh, how to make it pierce a, a wall. As you can see here, we have the uh, finished code. So let's just isolate this now and start a new one. So the first thing we're going to need here is going to be a box to serve as our as our wall. So set one box and something as simple as that. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to need naturally is an arc. So we can see here. And we want to be able to change its uh, radius. So I'm going to put in a number slider with about a 10 meter input there. Of course, that is way too big for the radius, so we can just scale this down. Mm. Next up, we're going to need a point to serve as our base. Uh, and I'm, and I'm going to set this one to make this very easy at the center of our, of our, of our wall. Place it in, and now we have our arc standing where we want it to be. <clears throat> the, the next thing we need to, to do here is to rotate it in a 3D uh, in in three dimensions. Uh, we can put in our our arc into the geometry. I believe this is the angle, so we simply set this to degrees. Since I will not be changing these degrees much, I will just write in a fixed a fixed number, so 90, which is basically all we really need here. Uh, we want we want our point to serve as a centroid, just like that, and we want to put in the axes. In this case, we're going to be needing the x axes, so an x unit. Place it in there, and now if we can just hide all of these, we can see our arc already standing uh, next to the wall. The next thing we need to do, of course, is to mess with its height a bit. So we put in, oh, we lock in our geometry. It's already up there. Of course, we need, we need it down here. Place in a Z, a Z, a Z axis there, and let's yeah, let's just give it about a ten, a ten number slider. <laughs> let's place it at about here. Uh, we can now, of course, hide all of this stuff as we as as we go. Uh, the next thing we will need here is let's see endpoints. If I'm not mistaken, we can pick up on our endpoints. Yeah. So that so that we can can get the two ex extremities there, and of course we need to project these down onto the floor. So just place them in there, just like that. Now, of course, we need to close this entire shape so that then we can finally pierce this wall. And to do so, we can add in a polyline. And now this is the place where it gets a bit tricky because we need to place these points in a proper order to make sure that they are placed in pr uh, properly. Hmm. Also, not to f forget that we still need to separate our points which which have now been joined into this uh, component also some uh, friendly advice when you're when you're dealing only with uh, two items I highly I highly recommend using a dispatch instead of a list item since this one works really well just for two points now how to place this in order so we pick up this point first Mm, wait, hold on. Oh, pardon me, that is not right. We pick up this point first, then this one, exactly, then the the other end point, okay, and then to finish off the end point out here in the back. And yes, now 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 we have our finished shape. So by combining this component with our, with our, with our polyline, with our moved um, arc, we can now join them in, or in this case, we could just join or skip to the boundary position. And if we put these two in there, we can now get a proper shape. 
going to go in here and essentially hide these. There it is. And now we just need to place in a solid, sol solid difference. Yeah. Let's pick up on our wall back here. Bring it out to the front. And now connect them like this. Oh, uh, yeah. We're still missing the, ex the extrusion, which is a very basic and yet useful component. In this case, we need to apply our Y unit like that and now if we do it like this and we hide all of these we now have our finished wall one that we can simply come back here and adjust its its height and adjust its radius like so okay guys so this was a very simple tutorial on how to set up a simple arc on on a wall please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you here next time.